every theme is very different and every theme will be customized differently. So that's another reason why it's so important to find a theme that you actually want because how you customize this theme, for instance, may be completely different than how you customize this theme. So part of trying to choose the uh, correct theme is actually trying to customize it. You should probably activate every theme you're really considering and play around with the customization. See how hard it is because some are easier to customize and some are a lot harder to customize. So that's another thing you want to consider when choosing which theme you're going to use. For the most part, the way you're going to customize your theme is by going to the customizer. So with this theme activated, we're going to hit customize. Now in the customizer, we can change the site title and tagline, which appears right here. So I could say Roku's site. We can change colors, as I've done before. Change the color scheme. This allows me to change a lot of individual colors. And so this is just previewing. It's not going to be live until I hit here. Uh, it will allow me to put a header image instead, or a background image, which I'm assuming would go here. Widgets, something we'll discuss later on. And then this static front page. So we have it set so right now the very first thing people see is our posts. So on the front page, it just shows the posts. There's only one, but if I were to make more blog posts, they would immediately show up on the front page. You can change it from instead of showing your latest post to just show a static page. So I click this and then I pick a page. So now the sample page, this page is the static front page. And when I go to the front page, it's going to show me this sample page because I have it set as static page and this is what I chose for the front page. So again, if I were to change it back to latest posts, instead of showing this page, it's going to show my latest posts. It's kind of self-explanatory. If you do do static page, well, there has to be somewhere where it displays your posts and so you'd pick a page to uh, display your post. So you can make a separate page called just posts and that is where people would find your actual posts if they weren't going to be displayed on the front page. As we talked about earlier, how you customize each theme will depend largely in part on the theme itself. So how we customize this theme is going to be a lot different than how we customize this theme. So let's just go into the customizer for instance. We just were in the customizer for this theme. Now we activated this theme and let's go into the customizer here. So it has sightline and title, just like either one. But it's not updating up here. So apparently this theme doesn't allow you to update the site title and tagline through the customizer. There's a different way to do that. So we've already noticed one difference. The colors. The only thing you can change is the background color. Unlike the other theme where you could change all sorts of different colors. And if we change it, who even knows where that changed? I didn't see any color change. And it's probably because the background is being covered up by a picture or something like that. We can do a background image. Widgets, again, we'll explain later. Static front page. So this is a very different theme than the other theme we saw. The other theme was had just posts and that's it. This theme has all sorts of other stuff. The services section, our team. So it's set on latest posts. Let's go to static page. And set to sample page. So now it's showing as the home page a static page, which is this sample page. And obviously it looks completely different. That's probably because this theme was set up so that it needs to be on your latest posts. If it's not on your latest posts, if it's on static front page, static page, it's not gonna look right. It wasn't designed for that reason. So a lot of times you gotta go into customizer and just do a little bit of uh, 
trial and error, just kind of playing around in a sandbox, see what causes what to happen. So for this theme, obviously static page is not going to look good. So let's just leave it on your latest posts. So for this theme, we saw that the customizer wasn't much help. Again, for each theme, how you customize it varies a little bit in how you do it. So if you can't customize it through the customizer, there's always going to be another way. We just have to figure how to do it for each specific theme. And sometimes if they don't allow you to do very much through the customizer, within appearance, there is a section that looks something like this, theme options. So this theme option section is specific to just this theme. If I were to activate this other theme, under appearance, there is no theme options. So that theme options was something that the developers of this theme put in there. So let's activate this theme again, the Foliogyne light, and let's click theme options. And boom. So this looks like the place where they want us to customize our site. So let's check out our team, for instance. So if you want to edit our team, it looks like we have to do it through here. So let's go ahead and check out our site. Scroll down and we see our team. See how it has no nothing in there. Well, it looks like this is the place to edit that section. So our team, I'm going to put in an image. Here we go. And put my name. And I gotta save changes. Go down to hit save changes. Okay, so right now it's John Doe, just this anonymous silhouette. I'm gonna refresh, and now it's got my picture and it's got my name in there. So you can see that for this theme, the way to customize it was under appearance. They had a little section called theme options, and this is where they want you to do all the customization. So that is just an example of how it varies for each theme a little bit on how to actually customize it. And so again, when you're picking a theme, make sure you try to customize it a little bit to see if you can figure out some are gonna be a little bit too complicated and some are a lot more easy to customize. So what do you do if you just cannot figure out how to customize a theme? You've tried the customizer, it's not doing much for you. You've tried theme options and that's not helping or it just doesn't have a theme options, then where do you go? To show you this process, we're going to try to customize another theme, and you'll find that it has a lot to do with just looking on Google and looking on the internet for answers. So let's try again customizing a, a, a different theme that is not just a traditional sidebar and content. So first, we'll try the customizer. And as you can see with our content on, in it, it doesn't really resemble what uh, the screenshot we saw before looked like. And there's not much we can change. Site title, colors, one color, background, static front page. So the customizer probably isn't going to be the way we customize this theme. See the screenshot, it looked a lot different than what our website looked like with our content. So again, if the customizer doesn't work, then often if we go into an under appearance, sometimes there's a specific section for this theme. Like for Folio Giant, it was theme options, I believe. So for the CV card, if we go under appearance, CV card options, that looks specific to this theme. So let's click that. And here are some places where you can do some edits. Footer, custom CSS. Let's check the home page. We can upload our photo. So let's do that. Name. Okay, so let's save changes. And we'll go to our website. So it still doesn't really look the way we want. 
import export not a lot we can do here okay so even in this CV card options section there isn't a whole lot of customization that we can do so what do we do if it, in the customizer we weren't able to do much and there was even a custom option to edit the theme and we couldn't do much here either well then what do we do when you run into problems with your theme or problems with WordPress in general it's good to get in the habit of searching for solutions on Google Google is going to be one of your best friends in web development whenever you run into a problem if you're able to get good at finding solutions on Google then it really doesn't matter what problem you have you can always find a solution so for this theme we don't exactly know how to use it so let's just Google the name of the theme CV card so we'll type in CV card theme you could also put something like CV card WordPress theme something of that extent and there's a few results that look like they're relevant let's open this one these two this is the most current version 1.1.1 so let's open this and this looks like it's the developers website because I remember his name was Barack and we'll open that so this is just a page about the theme and it has links to other places like theme homepage we'll open that and if you scroll down view support forum so pretty much every theme has a page like this. It's wordpress.org slash theme slash and then the name of the theme. And if you do a Google search, you can stumble upon this page pretty easily. And it's important because, yeah, it has that theme homepage and the view support forum. The support forum is where people can answer, ask questions and anyone can answer them or even the developer who made the theme can answer them. And you'll find a lot of help here. So let's open that as well and doesn't give us too much other information that would help us use the theme other than just the links so we're done with that let's close out of here this was the home page for the theme that we clicked on from that link and we can do the live preview which is good and this is important too some documentation so this is telling us actually these are the instructions right here on how to use the theme so this is gold so we can follow that to use the theme and here is a video on how to use the theme how to create a home page so this already should have enough information for us to get this theme set up let's look at some of the other pages we opened so this is the support forum this is extremely extremely valuable and if you do a Google search usually the name of the theme put theme and then support something to that extent you can usually stumble across this through Google or through the other page which gave us this link the overall page about the theme so again this is where people can just ask questions and as you can see the topic of all the questions and uh, anyone can answer so the theme author will often answer and a lot of the questions that you have will probably exist on here and if not you can just ask the question yourself you just have to get a an account so register an account with uh, for the for the forums it takes like 10 seconds and then you can actually pose your own questions but most of the questions you probably have someone has already asked on the forum and so you can just look here and see what other people are saying and a lot of times this is how I find a lot of the answers to the questions that I have so this page doesn't look too helpful oh well some of these other links might be helpful and then this was the Google search result that took us to this page even though we already came here through another link and that's it but uh, as you can see just by googling it we found a ton of information and just by following for instance this documentation or this or this video it'll probably be enough to to show us how to set up that specific theme so just get in the habit of googling things and getting good at finding answers on google because 
there's going to be answers and instructions out there. You just have to get in the habit of using Google to find those answers.